What the fuck is sleep? I don't even know what that is. Just call me a bow with that thing. Hold up and watch that bitch in. Hey, shout out what Sleep TV, man. What's Sleep TV? I ain't no sleep, motherfucker. So, before we talk about your What Sleep Freestyle, mm -hmm. let's talk about the videos that you made, you know, quote unquote, exposing What Sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read the caption from each one so you know what I'm talking about. All right? mm -hmm. In the first video, the caption said, well, it's kind of long. So this one kind of long, so I'm trying to keep it brief. Yeah. You pretty much said, What Sleep TV, Kyrie Thomas, you are not for the culture in all caps. You said, What Sleep used to be a great platform for unknown artists in that state, but it's changed for the worse. Pretty much became a global real estate page earlier in 2023. Now they don't even post her anymore, which is a shame because she used to do Dolly Part of Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's so many talented artists across the volunteer state that deserve to have a spotlight, but if you actually did your job instead of sitting at home playing games all day and tweeting random rap lyrics, maybe you should, you would know. Yeah. Uh, explain that video because people, when, video. whenever people see this interview, yeah. they're going to be like, how the fuck did they go from this to that? So. Yeah, well, the thing is, is what I did was I basically had took some of the narratives that other people would say about what sleep. And that's why people thought it was real because a lot of people came to me and it's like, well, you know, you wasn't really wrong. And I was like, bro, I was just saying what you niggas said. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, like Kyrie, you cover everybody from Memphis all the way to Knoxville and Chattanooga. I think you do a really good job of covering a lot of different artists. Appreciate Niggas it. say that shit. So we were trying to we we're trying to like get the get the attention build up for the freestyle. So I knew people were gonna pay attention to that and they were gonna vibe with it. They were gonna resonate with it because that's what they say, unfortunately. Now, you uh, tweeting random rap lyrics is true. You playing a lot of video games is true. Uh, you being a, um, a, a global real estate page is true. You not posting her that much anymore is true. <laughs> the, funniest shit, the, the funniest shit was, uh, like I said, uh, Glorilla was the next Dolly Parton, and like Smith got so mad at me. Yeah, for I seen that. And I was about to like troll Smith again because you know what I was going to do? I was going to put on my story about, you know, because Dolly Parton, what she does is, like, she reads to kids a lot. She's really into, like, children's reading and stuff like that, right? Remember when Chloe Rilla was freestyling that Llama Llama freestyle and she was reading the, the children's book? So I was basically going to be like, well, dang, bro, they both read children's books. So, like, what do you mean they're not the same? You know what I'm saying? But, nah, man, I was, I was just joking with that. But, like, I think Smith was, like, taking it, like, seriously. Like, because Dolly Parton is such a... Like a Big love team. person. And I yeah. seen Dolly Parton at the Tennessee game. I was right behind her. Oh, whatever. It was cool. It was you cool. Trying to get a motorboat? Huh? You trying to get a motorboat? Yeah. Absolutely. How, how did that go? I mean, I didn't talk to her. It was uh, just like I was sitting in the crowd. The end zone that she walked out of, I was like behind her. So I could see her up close. I had never seen Dolly Parton before. I have always wanted to see Dolly Parton. Yeah. Not on no, no funny shit. It was just like she a legend.